everyone. I'm always eating for some reason. I come out to the garden, I start eating. But um, no, I don't have a banana tree. I brought this out with me. But welcome to The Able Gardener. And today's episode is fact or fiction. I had harvested a seed zucchini. And I was going to let it grow as long as it would possibly get before I harvested it. But I read on the internet that if you have something growing on one of your squash plants, well, if you have a squash growing on one of your squash plants and you're letting it get big or you don't even know it's there, that your plant will slow down in producing uh, any more squash. So I did notice that while that large seed zucchini was growing, it had the plant had slowed down on producing other squash, which was great for me because, you know, I'm, I'm just <laughs> buried in squash here. But after I cut it off, couple days later I came out and I harvested three squash. So now we're going to take a look today and see what else is on there. And you know how fast squash grow. It may just be covered. I don't know. So fact or fiction, I'll bring you in here in the dark. Had to put the shade up for the plants. It's been so hot here the last three days that some of my plants have died. Others are just wilted and then all in between. Some have just gotten a lot of burnt leaves. But I'll bring you in here underneath the shade and we'll take a look at that plant. Okay, so we're counting up. I've gotten three zucchini. The crows are going crazy. I've gotten three zucchini off this plant after taking the big uh, seed zucchini off. So let's, I'm going to dive in here and see what's left. Two. Okay, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. <laughs> this one really puts them out fast. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now that's the size I like. They're not very big and I mean you can eat that. That's probably a meal for me. Okay. I don't want to miss any or they're going to get bigger. And you can tell that I've messed with this plant a lot because as soon as you bend over one of the stems then that leaf and that whole stem is gone. It's not going to come back up and you know regrow. Just a few little babies left on there. Here's another one. I think that's it. I hope that's it. Well, that's it besides just a few um, little babies that aren't big enough, but they will be tomorrow or the next day. So after taking the seed zucchini off, I got three, and then I got, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So you know what? I'm thinking that that is not fiction. I think it's fact that if you have something large growing on your squash plant, something if you have a large squash growing on your squash plant and I guess you know it doesn't matter what kind then your squash plant is going to slow down in producing which only stands to reason it's putting all its energy into making that big squash it's not putting the energy into making little ones so uh, you take the big squash off and then it starts producing little ones again and I think I should have left it on there because I don't need all this squash and I have a feeling that I'm going to be giving some seeds away 
oh, maybe later on this fall or next spring. And if anybody wants to grow a really crazy, prolific squash, you only need one of them. <laughs> and you guys can also grow your, you know, 25 foot squash. <laughs> and this is a zucchini crossed with, I believe, a butternut squash. So I'm just guessing that. I know, I know half of it is zucchini. Fact, it starts producing again.